everyone this is Deadpool Joe again here with another review for you guys and as you can see today I'm going to be reviewing the limited edition Batman Arkham Knight video game for the PS4 now, this was supposed to be an unboxing video as I had told you in the other video of the unboxing of the limited edition PS4 uh, Batman version but I tried doing that and for some reason the video that I had made for you guys did not upload and got erased in the process so I'm just doing a review of everything that's inside or that was included in this bundle. But it shouldn't, I'm pretty sure it, um, you, you all have seen a bunch, bunch of other uh, unboxings of this already, so it shouldn't really be a, a big deal. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and um, skim through everything real quick and show you what this version has. This is a must have. For 40 bucks more, you would be not only getting the game itself, but all this cool stuff. And it um, really sucks to know that. Those who pre-ordered the Batmobile edition um, might have missed out on this because, of course, we all know how that went. Uh, it got canceled. But I really, really hope that if any of you guys uh, out there who had pre-ordered the Batmobile edition did not get, ha have not gotten the chance to get any other stuff, to try and look for one on retail. Or if not, just uh, still try buying one on eBay so that way you won't miss out on any of this cool stuff that was included. So um, I'm going to go ahead and um, show you the first thing right here, which was... Um, this was just on the, other, the outer part of the box. It's just like a little um, cardboard um, thing that goes outside of the box just to for you to see the image of the game itself, the PS4 limited edition. Batman Arkham Knight, there you see the Dark Knight right there, with the Batmobile, Rocksteady, DC Comics and Warner Bros. logo. And then on this side it just says, Be the Batman. Move it around this way and it shows all the stuff that the limited edition has. Which is the art book, the 12 inch Batman statue, the New 52 skins pack, the comic book prelude, the steel book, and the Harley Quinn uh, story pack. So, aside from that, on this side there's just the... PlayStation exclusive Scarecrow Nightmare missions, exclusive skins, the Adam West um, Batman skin, the Justice League 3000, and the 1966 Batmobile uh, skin. So there's the, that right there. And that's pretty much it. This part goes outside of this box over here that I'm going to show you right now. This box right here. And this is what contained everything. Not much to it. There's only the styrofoam parts that uh, majority took out that were holding everything else together. But right here on the flap it says, Warning. Fragile. Remove product carefully. The packing materials are intended to protect the product. If open abruptly, damage to the product may result. Please open the packaging materials with care. Which of course us collectors already know. We take care of our collectibles. We don't mess with them in any way. And um, yeah. The thing I really liked about this box is that it has, it's made to look like it has some wear to it. But, so if you see this in your box, don't think that something was wrong with it, of course. But that's how it was made to look. This part looks, it feels rough, and this part feels smooth where the bat, bat sign is at. So, aside from that, it says, from a grateful city in memory of Gotham Knight. Then, um, everything else on, on this side right here, you can see that there's a Batman statue. Just the directions of where to find the... Uh, power on and off switch so because that thing actually lights up I don't know if you guys knew that I'm pretty sure you, some of you did but um yeah you just take one of the building pieces off it shows where to find it so you can find the switch and once you plug batteries in it you'll see some light coming out from this side up, upwards to the Dark Knight himself so there it is again the same sign on this side and that's pretty much it uh, moving on towards the statue love this thing so much uh, good uh, goes good for any uh, Batman collector um, and any display. Um, there's a great amount of detail on the statue, as you can see, in the armor version. And uh, all the way to his boots. Trying to get a clear shot for you guys. And uh, even the buildings themselves are very, very detailed. It's supposed to be Gotham. And it says the same thing. From a grateful city in memory of the Gotham Knight. So let me switch this. Try to get a shot from every single angle. Right there. So yeah, this thing actually lights up. I haven't tried it myself. It comes with three, uh, three batteries for you to put on. So you know you don't even have to 
um, spend more money on getting batteries already uh, hooked you up with them so there is a back right there, good amount of detail on the cape as well and the part where the, this is just from right here guys the part where you take the building off is this part right here to find the switch, there it is right there and then just to hide it, you pop this thing back up there no problem so there it is, and it was stuck to both of these styrofoam pieces you, you see right here. One of the styrofoam pieces has a Batman Arkham Knight um, lettering right there, which is pretty cool. Never really seen that on any other styrofoam um, packaging. So it's pretty cool, it's indented into it. Looks very nice. But um, there's a statue right there, getting a shot of it. And um, moving on to the next thing is the Steelbook. This is pretty cool, it comes with both the regular game itself and this steelbook so for me you know I'm gonna most likely put it on this because I already have the other version of it in the other regular packaging so so I can have two versions of the game I'm gonna put it in this steelbook it's a very nice steelbook it looks, it looks kinda golden as you can see it has a dark knight right there on the side it says Batman Arkham Knight and on this side there's just a Batmobile and a shot of one of the wheels I'm gonna go ahead and open the steelbook for you right there this side where the disc goes is just one of the wheels of the Batmobile again, and this side is just the chest where you put the um, instruction manuals and all that stuff. So yeah, I'm going to be using this steelbook, just to get out of the other packaging. So yeah, I own two copies of the game, but one of them is going to be in the steelbook, and the other one's going to be in the regular packaging. So there's that steelbook right there. And next is the art book. I haven't played Arkham Knight as of, yet, as of now, so I'm just going to go ahead and skim through it. This is this this art book shows concept art, early concept art of the game. It says the art of Batman Arkham Knight. Pretty sure you guys are all aware of what concept art is. It's early stage art that um, they use to uh, visualize and create the game. And on um, the back of it, as you can see, this side is all rough, and the chest, uh, the bat on his chest, is also smooth. Um, it says this is how it happened. This is how the Batman died. So there's that. Same thing with this, everything's rough, but only the bat is very smooth. Here's a shot of the inside of the book, the Batmobile. So yeah, it just shows like different concept art of the game. Some of this I think you could even unlock in the concept art uh, features of the game. So I'm just going to go ahead and skim through it real quick. Don't want to spoil anything for myself either. So there you are. So I definitely recommend this version, guys. If you haven't done so already, grab it because you get all this cool, neat stuff. Especially any of you who really, really love Batman, you need this in your collection. It's a must-have. So this is kind of, kind of, this art book uh, is a bit similar to the one that we got in Arkham Origins. If you picked up the Arkham Origins Collector's Edition, you would have gotten one similar to that, but of Arkham Origins. And uh, here's the game itself. As I already stated, I already have a copy of this game. The only thing that, the only difference between this one and the one that came with the PS, PS4 um, was that the PS4 version, I don't know if you noticed in the other video, it already had like some sort of picture right here with the Scarecrow um, missions, the Scarecrow himself. But other than that, everything else is basically the same. Or like I already said, I'm just going to pop this into the steelbook. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much about it. I'm already going to leave that right there. It says Batman Arkham Knight. And there you have it. And the last thing on this is uh, the Batman Arkham Knight uh, issue number zero. Uh, comic book which is a prelude uh, to the video game itself kind of like the uh, Road to Arkham comic book that came with the Arkham Asylum Collector's Edition uh, this is basically the same thing that tells the events that took place before the video game I'm pretty sure there was already uh, other comic books of Arkham Knight before this one but um, um yeah this was not this was barely released with this bundle so it hadn't been released before I'm going to pick up the other uh, comic books as well but I'm going to be reading this uh, before I play the video game so it's a good thing I've waited on that as well. Just the back of it shows Arkham Knight, Batman Arkham Knight. The front of it shows uh, Batman right there. And over his shoulder there's the Arkham Knight over there. And the picture is very similar to the front of the game. Where he's shown flying above the Batmobile. I'm just going to skim through this as well. So yeah, this is a, a must have for you guys. You guys um, got to pick this version up. It's $40 more, you're going to be getting all this cool stuff. So I de definitely recommend buying it. And getting it if you can find one on um, at your local store or on eBay wherever you want to do but um, I would definitely recommend this 
Alright, so this is uh, my review of the Bad American Mike Collector's Edition. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, like it. Oh man, uh, recommend it to any, anyone who's, who uh, wants to pick this version up. Alright, see you guys.